Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the fastest possible way to remove um, MLCCs. You could probably do half a kilo in an hour, it's that quick. But this is what I've done. It only feels like it's been a few minutes, it's probably been longer, but there's some in there. And as you can see at the bottom of here, we've got a little pile. So what I do is I just even use anything, a box or anything. This is basically just a uh, recycling bin lid. As you can see, that's the size which clip in. You push the ball to the back. I like to have a chisel and a hammer, and different size chisels as well help. So you can use thin chisels in small areas, and obviously the thick ones in the large areas. Like you got the MRCCs not all over the board. I remove the S and D resistors along with it, just because they get processed the same, so it's not really a problem. So put it to the back. Just hammer. If there's any fast ways, let me know, but I can't imagine it. Just literally, it's just seconds coming off. A lot of people just use pliers to pluck them off, but you don't get the little ones. It means that because uh, no one spends time just taking those little ones off by hand. But this way, you can see hundreds. Of little mini ones there, you probably can't even see it that small. And get a nice thin chisel, and that's that done. <laughs> Literally, like maybe 200 MRCCs, some little ones down here. Let's knock them all off. We've got more on the back, quite a bit on the back actually. They don't even fly everywhere too much as long as you don't hit them hard, so it's nice and gently. Obviously if you start smacking it, they're just going to fly everywhere, but nice and gentle. The board's a bit muddy, but it's not a problem. If the board's wet, it still doesn't cause much of a problem. Obviously, you can be a bit slower because it's sticky. You have to tap the board at the end anyway just to be sure that they all come off. You can even be picky if you want to go for just the normal MRCCs, you can look through. It still work the same. Give the board a nice tap. All the MRCCs off, and then knock more to the bottom, and then start again. And just keep going through boards like that, nice and quick. And I grab another one on the battery. I got. I was low on battery when I started it. Plenty. Um, so as you can see, I've already moved most from this side. Yeah, I think it was just a few large ones. Through anyway, and there might be some little oh, still a couple of large ones left, but I can't really see many little ones here either. So just remove all that there is. Hmm. But I, I honestly believe if you worked this quick, you could get easily maybe half a kilo off. Obviously, it depends with your boards. If you get mother boards, which have long lines of them, you can just go up like that nice and quick, get absolute hundreds off. A minute ago I had a board which had just large ones all the way across and I literally just done about, I literally done back then, about maybe um, 50, kilo, 50 grams in about a minute and a half. It's always better to do it once you finish depopulating the board, as you can see. It's still got all the caps on it and it's higher up than it's 
than the actual bin lid so if any goes upwards it will just fall off and you'll lose it. There seems to be absolute loads on this side. You can see like I'm just knock those off. You can see like it wraps around. Just go at that part where it wraps around. there's actually hundreds there in the hundreds easily and as you can see now they're white where they've still come off that's just the solder what was holding it left behind sometimes it's better just to stick your finger in front of the uh, chisel it's only which is about to fly off just hit your finger and falls back down if you don't refine MLCCs they sell for good money so Easy to sell these off. I spent some time in this video showing you parts. So the time it took me, I probably spent a few minutes showing you. I could have been quicker. But at the end, we'll weigh it up anyway just to see. in a few minutes how much we've done Once you put it at an angle, it looks like they're done. But as soon as you put it at an angle, you can see all the bumps where the, the MLCCs are. That's one there. That's enough for me. And then just. Actually, I can't wait because I've already done loads of night before the video, so we won't wait. But there was barely any here before in this pile. So I've literally just done one computer board and computer boards don't have much. And as you can see, there's literally put it all into a corner. Actually I'll pour it into this pot. You can see at the start of the video there's almost none there. I've done one computer board which computer boards never have many. And we've literally done that much. Probably about 20 grams there that in with the rest of my MLCCs. Yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below um, I hope this helps bye bye